from the city that doesn't sleep, doesn't stop drinking, and doesn't stop for pedestrians, live from New York's Get Alive Stadium, it's Threats Football. I predict a high body count and a lot of shattered limbs today. Yeah, my last game here, my brain got battered, spilled all over Manhattan. To live in this town, you gotta be tough, 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 tough. Hey, what I'm saying, and today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Orcs of Hazard battle. The New York Threats. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Hey, man, how scared of a shimmel? I am a hell of a shimmel. Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini-me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., beat me out. You're a pussy. And it's first and ten. There aren't too many players that kids can look up to it, huh? I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a Sonic Blast dirty trick. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And that'll be second down and four. <laughs> oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. point attempt. It's good. Hey, what I'm saying, I understand when I'm mad, I do the most. I... Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Man, well, that'll turn your nostril hairs once and for all. Second down and six. First and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. And they are on 
the march right now with their third consecutive first down. And it's first and ten. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. And he picks up about six on the play. Third down and three. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. Oh, and the defender cut off that pass like a suburb. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. First and ten. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spiral. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shot play. First down and seven. And he runs it for four yards. Second and three. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. 
The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Strawberry Fields' dirty trick. As my mentor Hunter used to say, I don't advocate drugs out. Man, what a hit that was. Second down and a very lot. Don't worry. If he shocks you to death, maybe he... Fumble. You've got to protect the ball better than that. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. And he's running like a moose right now. Oh, with the brutal hit. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And it's first and ten. Like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And that'll be second and eight to go. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Third down and nine. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. And that'll give him four more to... Oh, he did not see that coming. there second down and five he caught it and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone except maybe self-doubt but he seems to have worked through it Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking.
looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. First and ten. The runner pulls out a chair. The ten. It's a touchdown. Never get into a dance off with a robot. They're programmed to perfectly execute dance moves with just the right amount of fans. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sinners then. It's good. Tell me, get him, I'm gonna get him on sight. And I'm way up spending money, you would think. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And that's how you get your buzz on in the MFL. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Graham, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. made a nice cut to avoid the saw but the saw just made a better cleaner cut to the ball carrier third down and nine in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. You can't keep a good mutant down. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. Perfect pass and a score! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. Showing, but their team has a chance to respond.
Rex, it's the two minute warning. You know what that means? Whiskey? First and ten. It's a six yard gain. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And that'll be second down and four. Just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, at the all you can eat buffets, they're not as literal as you think. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, with the brain scrambler. First and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Crap, did I kill him? <laughs> they are going, and that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant mortality of that's constant relentless advance if only it was as easy as telling them time out to stop our own clock you know Grim? the return man catches the ball and heads up field ouch what is this Andy's wrestling and it's first and ten It's about a three-yard pickup. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. Second down and seven. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Ah, oh, that is such bullshit. I got money on this game. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. If I talk, I mean stomp them into the ground. <laughs> Second down and more. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. One, one, oh, what a great defense. 
defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has... The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm gonna go into a strategic show. Where we going? What I got? Hey, why don't you sell down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were gonna tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra. The brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. the offensive water with strawberry fields and now they can taste sound but can't remember what the concept of time is sounds like you every day oh man about a six yard gain hey do me a favor if my parole officer calls i was with you last night bricks no problem i spent the night in lockup for solicitation at the last second. Nifty move. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. say maybe three yards but a tough three yards third and four one time when i was playing a guy hit me so hard i went into a dark tunnel thought i saw my grandparents waving at me in the light turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a grease turk. Another bullshit penalty. How long are these guys going to take this? here on first and the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref they say we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore <laughs> first down and forever offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery Second down and a 
mile. Kids to think I'm cool. Just in some better than Turn Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me that Tom Hanks... Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and six. Occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Oh, you see that saw, Bricks? He never saw that. I saw what you saw. A saw you never saw. See, there's the saw there. I see. First and ten. And the defense jumps on time. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service, located just off the Beltway Exit 5. <laughs> and it's first and ten. a first down. Looks like they're just gonna pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. No, I'm not gonna touch that one. That's what she said. First down and five. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. And that'll bring up second and one. Turkey. I'm not going to act like I'm cool for none. I don't care, give me the moon to fly. Try me, I promise you got the right one. I took a break 
Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third down and eight. And that is caught for a first down. First and ten. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. And my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked down? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys out. And it's first and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five.
third down and long. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, friend. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> he's, he's got his beast boost. And then he jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. He's at the 10. Touchdown! And it's first and goal. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Two minutes left in the game, and we'll be right back after I top off my drink. Grab me a scotch while you're up. Second down in a very lot. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's on those You know, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And it's first and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> the quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. 
And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Second down and more than the QB would like. He refuses to go down. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep him guessing. We're deadlocked with a tie score at the end of the fourth. And that can mean only one thing. Stay tuned because what the hell could be more important right now? It, Grim. I really need to hit the can. Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Ah, uh, Grandma, I didn't understand any of that. Can you repeat it? Not a chance. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Third down and a pussy here. And that's a nice run for a first down. First and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Six. And he put, and he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads. Kitten sheet. I'm at it, anything really tastes good. Second down and nine. Just run, just some fun on your
The Threats get smacked down today and lose the game. They battled hard but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. Yeah, that was beautiful. Britton Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.